Today, we are at the State Farm Stadium at a huge indoor RV show. We are gonna show you the most affordable vans or class B vans that you can find here at the show, all the way up to the most outrageous vans. Yes, and they have some doozies here today. They Let do. me tell you. So let's go see what you can get for your money in September of 2024. We are currently in a 2024 Winnebago Solus Pocket priced at $79,998. Now this is the cheapest thing we could find here today. And the crazy thing is, is the discount is $71,000 off. So yeah, let's start with this one. So here in the back of the van, you have the bathroom. It has a cassette toilet with a sink. And it has this interesting shower head that fits on the ceiling. And at 6'1", it's not a, I don't know, not a great fit for me. But you would probably just sit down. But you could sit down and make it work. Yeah. It does have this nice shower door and it also has a track for a shower curtain. So I'm hoping that would keep all the water inside. That door, I wish we can put that door in our van. You guys know in the last month, we've done a ton of upgrades in our current van, which is a Thor Tolaro 20A named Mr. Lemon. But anyways, we just recently upgraded our bathroom and how to do a shower curtain. But now that I'm seeing this shower door, I'm like, how do we get our hands on one of these and put it in our current van? All right, let's move up to the front. So we're gonna to try to make this quick today. We wanna to show you as many vans as possible. So I won't cover every detail, but just real quick. Passenger side, you have the galley with your sink, stove, and your refrigerator in front of the door. And on the driver's side, you have basically a one person bed. It can seat two, but then converts into a bed. So I'm, I don't think you could sleep more than one in here, but I don't know, maybe. And it does have seat belts for four with a small amount of upper storage and an air conditioner centrally located with an exhaust fan. And this is on the Ram Promaster 1500 chassis. All right, let's move on to the next van. Welcome to the Thor Tolaro 18M. So this van is $79,000 just like the previous van and has a very similar layout. So here in the back of the van is where you have the bathroom. You have a cassette toilet over here. You've got some storage. This one does not have a sink, but you have storage across from the toilet and it does have a nice shower up there. All right, let's move on into the front. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you going rogue without me? <gasps> I couldn't wait for you. He started filming without me. I was getting B shots on the other van. So hopefully that was good, guys. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so this van actually does come with a microwave. I did not see one in the other one, but here on the, you want to flip it? So here on the passenger side, you have your galley, has a propane stove. Um, I think the other one had propane as well, but uh, anyway, fairly small galley. It's a little deeper. That's one thing I noticed. Mm -hmm. uh, and then your refrigerator near the door. Then on the passenger side, this is your bed. It seems about the same size, although I don't know, it's kind of hard to judge, but uh, I don't know. It's a very similar bed. It slides out, two people could lay here and you've got storage up above. So one of the differences is that the other one had a nice table in the middle and this one you, doesn't have a table in the middle, but there is more than likely. I don't think it oh, does. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So there's a place here. So you're going to be able to put a table right here. It's just not like in the middle. And then also that one had four seat belts. Let's check and see how many seat belts this one has. Yep. Yep. So this one has four seat belts also just a little different. And then up above, there's this huge Coleman Mac air conditioner fan that I personally know nothing about. <laughs> and but behind that an air fan. In this one, I'm also noticing it comes with these balances that we are not a fan of. You guys would know if you watched the last, I think a few videos ago, Bob did a complete redo in our van of the balances. And so our van no longer has these. I personally think they're ugly, but to each its own. If you like yours, that's great. These actually look way better quality than the ones that we had. So that's all I got. Let's give it back to Bob. I found the table. It looks like you actually have to turn the driver's seat around in order to use it. This is also on the Ram Promaster 1500 chassis with a nice infotainment system, some storage up above. 
I don't know, similar, but different. Yeah. Oh, one big thing I did notice, the seat belts are integrated into the seats. Oh, this. So I actually really like this feature. And right here at the front of the sliding door is where they have their main power disconnect for the 12 volt system. That's a pretty nice spot for it. And there's two drawers down there. Didn't even notice that. Oh. Good storage, oh. little dog bowl. And some storage. Yeah, so all in all, for 79,000? Yeah. Not bad for 79,000. Get an it awning. Does have, it does have an awning and bud screen, so. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move up in price a little bit to something that's a little bigger with a little more room and maybe a few nicer features that we like. We are at van number three, clearly in front of the Thor Dazzle. This is a new 2024 Thor, Thor Dazzle 2LB. Listed at, well, on sale for $89,998. So we did cover one of these back in March and it was listed at $89,000. So it's come down $5,000 since March. All right, so for this one, we're gonna start in the back of the van in the bathroom. So this one has a black tank, which is, I would say a step up from uh, the other toilet. Has a shower curtain, storage, it has a bathroom fan, which I think is very important. But yeah, this, I can stand up in it. The shower head is right here. I think it's a great location. You have your mirror, your sink. These doors close, which is, I think, an awesome feature. And then moving on uh, to the rest of the van, this is one of my favorite layouts. All right, in this model, it is a twin bed layout. So each side has a bed and you do have the Froley system that's underneath the bed. And it does not like combine into like one massive bed, which is fine if this is the model that you're looking for. And the headrest has this little ratchet feature. Hang on. So it goes up, lays <laughs> flat or kind of at an angle. Very so, cool. Kind of a cool feature. And you do have storage on both sides above the bed. So up here behind the driver's seat is where you have your galley. So you have your refrigerator, your sink, your stove, and your convection oven. Overhead, you have your air conditioner, your fan, which kind of a little disappointed by this fan. It's just a little tiny dinky fan like this. It's not full size. Um, like a max air fan, but that's okay. I'm sure it works, hopefully. <laughs> you know but, what I liked before you move on? Yep. I actually really like these window shades. Yes, this is kind of what I was trying to replicate in our van when we did our upgrade. We mm -hmm. took our balances off, so I really do like those. Okay, wait, before we move on, I have a question for Bob. I wanna know, as we're going through these, these vans, if there's anything else we need to upgrade in our van, that are in these newer ones, because you know us. We're not really in a position to upgrade right now, so we're stuck with Mr. Lemon, but we're upgrading them one thing at a time. I haven't found anything yet, although I did like the shower door in that one van that we did see. That was a pretty nice feature, so. But I've, I have looked online and I couldn't find one that basically looked like that or did that. So, I don't know, but if somebody can show me one or point me in the right direction, I would love that, because I would definitely put that in. So let's see, up above the sliding door, you have your Truma heating system, your inverter on off, and this is a Thor product. So it does come with the BM Pro RV Master, which is here, if you can hit this button. Okay. So you've got that. And it is on the Ram Pro Master 3500 extended chassis. And yeah, that's about it for this van. And this is the new version of Mr. Lemon. This is the Thor Talaro 20A on the Ram Promaster 3500 extended chassis, and it is a 2024. So it has the new transmission, the new headlights, the new infotainment system. So let's step inside and see the differences between this one and ours. The first difference I'm seeing is 89,000. We bought ours for 106,000 back in 2022. Boo. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. First thing I noticed, galley, exactly the same. Although 
it does not have a propane stove. So there must be a portable induction stove top somewhere in here because I don't see a propane stove. I also did notice that the BM ProMaster is a different version, so there's no screen. It just has this little tiny control panel here. I played with it for a second, trying to navigate through it. Not a fan. It was a uh, very kind of little, little more difficult to navigate, but I bet with some time, you'd probably be able to figure it out. And they did move the uh, inverter on off and the Truman heating system off this panel and put it over the door, which I do actually like that. That is a really nice place to put all that stuff. So here behind the driver's seat, we have the third row seating. They have the TV kind of positioned right here. Ours had that there, but we actually ended up taking it down and kind of replacing that. But otherwise it's pretty much the same with a little bit of storage over here and the same balance over the window that we had prior to us taking it off and putting those nice covers on. And I do notice that they've got something different with the table set up here. So we'll have to look around and see what we can find for the table. So moving up to the front, the thing I noticed was the seats are different. The fabric and the materials are different. They seem better to me. And then feels the same. I did notice this right here, which is that where you put your phone? Yeah, that's a phone charging station. That would be nice to have a nice little phone charging station. But yeah, that's the front. Let's move on to the bathroom. So before I forget, exact same microwave that we have some storage up above exactly the same exactly the same the bathroom layout is exactly the same i do notice that there is no uh, vent fan in the ceiling interesting choice to take that out yeah that's we use ours every single time every time we use the bathroom we use that so the bed is exactly the same setup that ours originally had obviously we converted it into two twins now one thing i did notice is this is different. We did not have these legs. Oh. Ours actually latched on the side of this cabinet here. So when you extended it out, it, it reached there. That allowed you to still have access and open the doors down below. So this one you can't, but I'm assuming this is stronger. And then here's where you have all of your, some storage, your, your power controls or your power distributions here. And I think this side is just, yeah. And this is just more storage. All in all, same, so, same. So all in all, this is pretty much exactly the same van that we purchased a couple of years ago. Okay, so we are jumping over to a different chassis. And this one ends up being a 2024 Thor Tranquility 19R. I don't believe we've ever toured a 19R, so I'm actually excited to tour this one. It has a $70,000 discount. Crazy. And it ends up being $114,998. And it's on a Sprinter 144 chassis. Let's check this thing out. So before we step in, the first thing I noticed right off the bat is you've got these nice kind of rugged steps and it includes an awning. So we'll have to take a look on the roof and see what else it has, if we can get up there. Here, on the driver's side, you have a bed. Now, this bed slides out similar to what we've seen in some of the other vans today so that you can get two people to sleep in here. So that's pretty comfortable. It also is a very large couch that you could sit at and actually, you know, have people over entertain and it has seat belts. So that's nice. It's got storage up above. It's got some nice shades. Oh, and it's the table. In. Yes, the table kind of blends into the couch. Yeah, so no. here on the passenger side, you have the galley. In the back, you have your sink. It's a fairly small sink, but you know, most vans have them. It has this large countertop, no propane stove. So I'm assuming there is an induction stove top. One more thing here in the galley is actually where your TV is. So this could tilt out. I don't hate that. Let's see, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So this one does have the BM Pro with your light controls here. I do notice it doesn't have like the digital display. So I don't know. I'm Probably not all you need though. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's functional. I'm just not used to that model. Can you guys tell we're trying to go really fast? Just so you know, if you're new here and this is the first video, video you've ever watched of ours, we don't work for this company. We don't work for any, we just have a YouTube channel. And we like to show you what is available during certain times of the year. That's it. We just tell you our real opinions. So to finish up here in the back, you've got your microwave. Wow, I just kicked the bucket. 
we've got your microwave here. We've got your refrigerator and some storage on this side. And this one does have the rear bathroom. So here in the bathroom, you have a cassette toilet, which you access by opening the door. You have your sink here in the back behind the toilet. You have your shower head with the controls, a little bit of storage in your medicine cabinet. And then here on the passenger side, you've got quite a bit of storage here. And this is where your toilet paper goes. Stop it. No, you have to open the cabinet to get the toilet paper. Yep. Hmm. Keep it dry anyway. That's true. All right. So anything on the Mercedes chassis tends to be quite expensive. They are really nice vehicles and it's diesel, but uh, this one's actually fairly well priced at 114 and there's lots of opportunities for upgrades um, so you can customize it and make it your own. But this is a good starting platform if you like this uh, kind of bed setup that they have here. What you're gonna find a lot of times uh, in the Mercedes 144 is a rear bed and sometimes it'll be a lift bed. And this is a little bit different than what you typically see. So kind of a nice layout at a reasonable price. Yeah, I would say I like it actually. I love the bathroom being in the back and everything, but I am more of a keep your bed set up kind of girl. And so that bed would not work for me. Oh, look, cool. You have an outdoor table. What do you think? I think you can put some sweet upgrades on this thing and it would be amazing. But I think it's time to move on something a little bit more expensive, maybe a little nicer. Right here behind me, there are three vans that are almost worth a combined value of three quarters of a million dollars. It's crazy that these three vehicles are almost three quarters of a million dollars. Okay, we're gonna start at the cheapest of the three, which is $199,000. Oh wait, don't forget the 900. This ends up being a 2024 Gretsch Turismo Ion I-A-T-B? I don't know what that means, <laughs> but maybe you do. Let's check this one out. And it's $50,000 off. This thing is very nice quality. Oh, it's a little dark in here and also very expensive. And this is the Mercedes 144 chassis and- It's short? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Wait, yes, there's the door. You can always tell by the sliding door. When the sliding door comes back this far, that's how you know that it's a 144. So in this 144 Mercedes chassis, they have really taken up all of the possible room and utilized it really well. And they've built this out with very, very nice quality. So here in the back, you have a bed. Um, this does combine together. It's actually kind of half down and half up, but uh, it's I think it's a power bed, so it moves. Up above, you've got storage. It really starts from the sliding door all the way to the back, wraps around, and then all the way back over here to this side. And you also have your TV here in the back. You have a secondary control system here in the back. And I think it's Fire Firefly or something like that. Yep. Yep. So nice, nice quality, good brand. Now the fridge is a little small. It's kind of like a college door mini fridge. So that'd be tough to stay uh, to live out of that for a week, but at least you have a fridge. You do have an air conditioner up above. I'm sorry, can we pause? At least you have a fridge for $199,000. You better have a fridge. You're not wrong. This has a two burner induction stove, which is really nice. And especially since it's in this small van, you have your convection microwave oven down here and a very large sink, which is mm -hmm. quite deep. And then right here, you have your bathroom, which it's full of stuff. There's a mirror. Oh, yeah. They have a lot of stuff in here yep. right now. Oh, we've seen this bathroom. It's yes. an airplane bathroom. Yes. this I do actually kind of like this molded bathroom, kind of one piece feel that it has. It's, it's a pretty nice setup. They've utilized all of the room that they can. Okay, so you do have some swivel chairs. There's a lagoon table that you can mount up here so that you can have this as your kind of dining area if you'd like to leave your bed set up. Uh, in the back. Nice quality materials all the way around, whether it's the countertops, the cabinets, the seats. Um, I mean, you really are getting what you pay for with this, which is top-notch quality. So we are moving on to the Gretsch Strata IT, and it is on the Mercedes 170 chassis. 
Let me step in here. All right. And this thing is outrageous. I mean, look at this. Look at this lighting that they have in here. Blue accent lighting. All right, let me take you to the back. You easily have room for seating for five here in the back with seat belts. This is a power bed that lays down and uh, I'm assuming would be about the size of a king size bed. So pretty, pretty nice. Um, you've got storage up above. The storage actually starts all the way up here in the front by the sliding door and then comes all the way over the galley, all the way to the back, wraps around all the way to the bathroom. So plenty of overhead storage in here. Now I have to be duck a little bit because of the air conditioner that's right here. I've hit my head on this before in a previous video and hmm, what else? Okay. So you have your TV entertainment system, your control system here in the back. You've got your galley. So this is kind of similar to the previous one, although it's much bigger. You've got some prep space here, a two burner induction stovetop and a large sink. Ooh, let me show you from this side. So, all right, here is the sink. And here is, oh, here is the induction stovetop that's right here. Now, let's see, let's move on to the other side. Kind of on the, what is this, the driver's side? On the driver's side, you have your, what feels like, hang on, what feels like your airplane bathroom. So Hillary just joined me. So now she has the camera so I can actually stand in here and show you guys the bathroom, but it very much feels like an airplane bathroom. It's kind of got this hard molded shell that's in here. It's kind of all one piece. So I'm sure for like water tightness, longevity, that'd be really nice. You've got this really nice toilet. It's actually uh, porcelain and you've got enough room in here. Although the toilet's kind of in the way, you could still stand in here and take a shower if you needed to. So it's pretty nice. So we covered the galley, we covered the bathroom. You covered the galley? I did. Me? Yes, I've already covered the galley. We need to talk about the refrigerator, which has an independent freezer, freezer compartment. Okay, sir. I really like that. How much more is this one than the other one? So this one's a mere $235,000 and that's on sale. I don't know how the lighting is, but does anybody notice he's kind of going into like cells bomb? Like his little like, do 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 Bob, we don't work for them. It's true. And you have this wonderful, massive large storage area. Massive. So when you swivel the driver's seat around, you end up having this little tabletop here that you can flip up. Maybe use that as a desk space or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But you really don't have a like a fixed dining area. I'm sure you do back here. You could definitely, you know, convert the bed. But you don't have anything up here, is what I'm saying. You do get what you pay for, for this outrageous price, but uh, because of the quality and just the size, I mean, everything is top notch. It's, it's very beautiful, very high quality, well put together, but boy, is it expensive. And truthfully, if you want to know more information, do your homework, look these things up online, because I'm sure like that price difference has to do with battery size, solar, electronics, everything, right? You know, this one's going to have like upgraded stuff than this one. And then this next one we're going to probably has the best if, if I had to give it a guess. So this is the last of the trio, but this is a 2025 Gretsch Torino Ion Terrain. Turin? I, I don't know. Oh, Turin. Yeah, Turin. I all wheel drive TV. I, let me check. I think it, the difference might be this is all wheel drive. Let me check. Oh my gosh. I gotta know the difference. That's what it is. So for almost $10,000 more, you get all wheel drive. And honestly, if you're gonna spend a quarter million dollars to buy a van, I would definitely get the all wheel drive. Is it same, same, only different? I think it is. Oh, it's slightly different. Is it different? I it looks like, bigger back oh, there. It is different. So the bed setup is different. Oh yeah, there's no back. So sure. the, the other one had the like, bench seat across the back with the two little spots up front. This has basically two facing benches. 
So kind of actually, I like the twin bed kind of concept because you could actually sleep on this side and somebody else could sleep over here and you could maybe leave it like in a bed kind of bed mode, quote unquote, by just leaving it normal like that. So I kind of like that idea. Let's see, other than that, I don't know if I notice a huge difference. The galley is still the same with your convection microwave, your tube burner, con induction stove, same sink. So this has the same exact bathroom. Okay, perfect. With the same refrigerator and freezer compartment and this huge storage right behind the driver's seat. Okay. All right. I think we don't, there's not much more to show because we've already kind of shown. Now we haven't shown you many of the exterior of the vans today. We just don't have enough time to jam everything into this video. But one thing that Gretsch does that's really nice is they put all of their components kind of nice and tucked away with this panel. You can lock it, secure it. It's all nice and stainless steel, so you're not gonna get any rusting. I mean, they just do a really, really nice job of kind of keeping the exterior of the van looking really clean and sharp. So that kind of wraps up these three that are worth almost three quarters of a million dollars. They're ridiculous. But we are going to head over to what we think is the most outrageous van that's here. It has the actual highest MSRP price, but it's the most outrageous van here and I can't wait to show you guys. It feels so good in here. The first thing I notice is the air conditioner is on and you can't even hear it. But we happen to be in the most outrageous van here. The list price is $309,900. That is incredible. A discount of almost $80,000, which making it $229,998. And this is a 2025 Gretsch RV Lusso all wheel drive. Let's check it out. So a quick overview on the Lusso. It has what I would consider a wet bar, not really a galley. It does have a bathroom and it does have a bench, a couple of benches that does form into a bed. Um, but I'd be interested to hear if it's actually comfortable or not. But with that, it has these four captain chairs up here in the front and they recline. They've got massagers, they've got heat. They are pretty stinking amazing. To me, it feels like I'm in first class in an airplane, if I'm being honest. It's a little over the top for me. You've got your infotainment system here. You've got some screens. You've got this giant TV up here. You've got another TV in the back. Yeah, this definitely feels like a first class seat on an airplane, for sure. Or a limousine. Or Man. a limo. Or I mean, and how many, I think it seats at least I think you can ten? get two, four, six, eight plus up front. So yeah, it would seat 10. Wow. Crazy. And look at that cool light up there. That is pretty awesome. It's just so outrageously elegant. I just don't know how practical it is, but yeah, it's outrageous. Here, let's step to the back. So here in the back, you do have your air conditioner right above us and it is running and really quiet. I'm pretty impressed by that. But this is what forms into your bed which is kind of odd to me. You would have to sleep long ways across. I don't know if it'd be big enough for like someone like myself who's 6'1", but you could definitely lay down here and take a nap if you needed to. So here in the back, so this is where your, I guess I'll call it a wet, it's not even a wet bath. This is where your bathroom slash like wet bar is. You have a refrigerator and a sink um, and you have a little bit of storage with a microwave yeah but then you also have a toilet with a black tank but uh all in all this is kind of outrageous I, you have a bathroom it seats 10 and i guess you could like have a little cocktail bar here in the back this is a good road tripper but who's gonna come back here and like go to the bathroom and like open the fridge and grab a drink i mean convenient yes but to me, that's so odd. What do you guys think? Well, you don't have to do it at the same time. <laughs> the idea wouldn't be like, hey, I'm gonna go use the bathroom to and, grab a drink. Or make a coffee, because I think this actually has a to total coffee bar setup. I saw it in here. 
See that? Oh. It's, it comes with an, an espresso. Nice. So you can literally go to the bathroom and make a cup of coffee. Wow. I don't know if I would do that, but you could. So clean. It's just the exterior is just so nice and clean. It is all wheel drive dually on the Mercedes 170 chassis. Yeah, what do we have here? Oh, okay. So this is your shore power connection and your gravity water fill. And that's it for the exterior connections. That's interesting, huh? Yeah, there's no awning. I guess you wouldn't need it because this is really meant for road trips, I think. Um, yeah, other than that, it has a really nice clean exterior. So we started with the most reasonably priced vans that we could find here today, mm -hmm. all the way up to the most outrageous. And as you can see, we are relaxing in it right now. Mm -hmm. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't even know how many vans we just showed you. A lot. <laughs> we jammed a lot into this video. But if there's things that we miss that you guys want us to you know, take a look at, something that uh, you're interested in, let us know. We'll see if we can find it and we'll share it with you guys. Yeah, but I think a lot of times they do let us know when it's vans we don't have access to. Yeah, we're We're limited here in Arizona. We will hopefully get to travel to other van shows yeah. uh, coming up. But right now, this is what is available. I mean, truthfully, there's so many we didn't show you guys and we're sorry, but yes. we've done videos on a lot of them. So we tried to pick ones that were either cheaper or different than we've done or right. whatever. Yeah, there's lots of different choices with you know different options, different colors, all that kind of yeah. stuff. But they definitely had a huge selection of vans. And this huge. was just a snip of that. I think that's it. That's all we have. Which one was your favorite? Let us know. Which one, which one did you think was the most outrageous and you would never buy? Probably <laughs> yes. the one I'm sitting in. Probably. That's a, for sure my choice. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, all right. until next time. Bye guys. Bye guys. Happy travels. Happy travels.